the window, you sure couldn't tell it. No, you, you couldn't. He has done a fantastic job simply being patient and taking what the track gives him. But, Dave, that doesn't mean he doesn't have some skill. He's been able to put a move on or two. Yeah, it, the apple didn't fall far from the tree for the Quapple boys. Their dad, Travis, of course, the former Truck Series champion. And Mike Bagley right now, he's got an idea about victory lane in the Xfinity Series. He is right there on the back bumper of Justin Allgaier. That's the battle for the lead. Here, oh, Riley Herbst, who get turned in the outside wall. Brandon Jones will spin to the bottom of the racetrack. Riley Herbst got hooked. Now Sam Mayer's going to collect Brandon Jones. Jones is up right in the middle of the racetrack. Cole Custer on the brakes. He will rear end Brandon Jones as the pack comes flying apart off the end of the back straightaway. Riley Herbst comes to a stop right in front of me here in three and four, and there's flames coming from the hood of Riley Herbst's Ford Mustang. It all broke out on lap number 48. We'll complete that lap, so 49 laps complete. Caution flag number five. It was the big one off the end of the back straightaway here at Michigan at the feet of Mike Bagley. It started when Riley Herbst started to run to the bottom of the racetrack, and he got hooked drivers right into the outside retaining wall. In the process of checking up, Brandon Jones got turned, and he slid for what felt like a mile, ended up spinning to the bottom of the racetrack, collecting Sam Mayer. Everybody was trying to duck and dive to get around all the spinning race cars, and then the one right at the very end, as Brandon Jones came back up the racetrack, Cole Custer on the brakes hard, did make contact with Brandon Jones here in the corner. Well, that'll make Joe Custer unhappy. Both Stuart Haas Racing Fords get swept up in the crash. Also, two of the Junior Motorsports Chevrolet Camaros got involved in it. Let's go to Pit Road, Steve Post. Yeah, down here, you mentioned uh, the uh, Stuart Haas car of uh, Cole Custer. He is here. The crew is working on the right front of the Ford Mustang, really putting a lot of that bear bond on there, just trying to get that car buttoned up. About three pit boxes behind him, Sam Mayer representing the Camaro Brigade over at Junior Motorsports. And uh, Sam's climbing out of this race car, so looks like Sam's day is done as they've got a ton of damage on the right front. Ryan Sieg was the car that uh, had that initial contact with Riley Herbs, and they are right now with the binoculars looking at the left front of that car as it rolls down the front straightaway just to see how much damage he has. He thinks he's going to be all right to make it to the end of the stage, but they're checking to make sure the damage on that one as well. Watching replay on that one, I feel like that's much like the Austin Hill situation where Riley Herbst wasn't quite clear of Ryan Sieg, thought he was, would slid up the racetrack to get in front of him, missed it by about six inches. That hooked him into the wall, just trying to get aggressive and, and clear Ryan Sieg. Right now we are working lap number 50, 10 to go in the stage, still 75 to go in the Cabo Wabo Tequila 250.